this is Cesar and today we are going to talk about the Kemper profiler here and how to record with different sample rates. Well, first I hope my video finds you well, safe and sound. Please take care of yourselves and take care of the people you love. Warning, this is a video that is only going to be useful for the Kemper users or for the people who are interested in getting a Kemper. If you are not a Kemper user or you are never going to be buying a Kemper, probably this video is not going to be very useful for you, but I'm happy if you watch it, right? Anyway, um, let me take you back three years, I think. Yes, three years back is when I arrived to the US. Uh, I got my Kemper in 2017, it's three years, more than three years now, and now is my tool to go not only for my YouTube channel, but also for the things that I do outside YouTube, out of YouTube. Um, I have a Kemper, I have a Helix, and I have several amps, among them a uh, Jubilee uh, and a, a Hughes and Kettner, but practically my tools to go are the Kemper, and the Helix. Now the thing is that when I bought my Kemper, the Kemper could only record at 44.1 kilohertz, right? So only one sample rate. And the Helix is configured at 48 kilohertz. So every time you wanted to go from Kemper to Helix, from Helix to Kemper, you do have to reconfigure your DO, the focus right, etc. I'm gonna show you how to do it now. But with the latest firmware updates in Kemper already, I would say more than one year back, you can use different sample rates to record with your Kemper. And this is what I'm gonna tell you and I'm gonna show you how to do it here in the Kemper and then how do you have to synchronize the different clocks on your Focusrite, your interface, I use a Focusrite, and on your DAW. As a DAW I use Reaper, but whatever the DAW you are using, you are going to see an option similar to the one I'm going to show you here on the, on the Reaper, okay? So, uh, stay tuned because we are going to go now to the Kemper, we are going to zoom. Well, I hope you can see the controls correctly with this light. The first thing you will need to do is to have your Kemper in browser, right? Here with the chicken head control. And now you click in Output. Once you click in output, you go here on page, up to where you can see a speedif clock. Let me zoom it for you. There we go. Speedif clock, right? I got mine at 48 kilohertz, but with this control that is just immediately below where it says speedif clock, you can move it. You can go back to 44.1. You can go to 48, which is where I am. You can go to 88.2 and you can go to 96 kilohertz, right? So in order for me to not to be changing back and forth between the Helix and the Kemper, I I'm going to keep it at 48 kilohertz here, right? As you see, it is in 48 kilohertz. And now it's very simple. You simply go exit, and there it is, right? And now let me take you to the internal clock of the interface, right? Uh, in order to synchronize it exactly at the same frequency, which is 48 kilohertz and also we will go to the door to my reaper in this case and then we will also synchronize the reaper at the same frequency 48 kilohertz than the Kemper and then you're ready to go and you can record perfectly with high digital quality. Good now you have your Kemper set up at 48 kilohertz okay next step is to synchronize the internal clock of your interface at the same frequency than the Kemper. I'm using Focusrite 6i6. By the way, I will need to change this device 
uh, this is for another video, I will tell you why. Uh, and as you see, I have already selected here 48 kilohertz here on the left. You can see my cursor, my arrow, and of course the clock source is SPDIF because we are uh, recording digitally. Here, if I click, I, I have different frequencies to select. I'm not going to change it because then we will lose the audio. This is what happened when I was demonstrating to you with the Kemper going from 48 to different frequencies. We lost the digital audio. This is why you had my voice going through the microphones of the camera, right? Now we stay at 48 kilohertz and then the synchronization status is locked. Okay, perfect. The idea is that you will need to synchronize this here at the same number, same frequency, than the Kemper, okay? Now you're perfect and then your interface and your Kemper are understanding each other and you can perfectly hear what you're doing. Now you are going to record, okay? And then you will need to use a DAW to record. I use Reaper as I'm telling you. This is my voice now. It's recording here, okay? It's recording. Then, how are you gonna select the frequency? In Reaper, you gotta go here, go where it says Reaper, click, and then you will have this menu. You go to Preferences. And when you go to Preferences, you gotta stop the playback to view the page. So we are going to unfortunately lose the voice here, but you are going to listen the voice of the recording of the screen. It's not going to be as good as the repair, the repair uh, recording. So we say OK. We stop the recording. OK. And now you are going to hear my voice on the uh, recording of the screen, so it's not going to be that good. But anyway, Reaper, we set preferences, and you see you have it here. Your audio device, in my case is a Scarlett 6i6 USB, it will detect immediately itself what is your device. And you see the sample rate is 48,000, okay? 48 Okay, when there is asking me something, okay. So here, if you want to change it, you will have to type it with your keyboard and you just put the right number. In this case is 48K, so it's 48,000. Say apply, okay, and you're good to go. Well, a couple of things now. First of all, this video is only going to be useful for you if you're going to record digitally and using a camper, right? In another video, we can go about digital and analog recording, but that's not the purpose of this video. So if you have a camper or you want to buy a camper and you are going to record digitally through the SPD function, this is going to be useful for you. Second, is there any difference between 44.1, 48, 96 kHz? Well, I mean, in the quality of the recording there is, but honestly, between 44.1 and 48 kHz, I don't think that the human ear can really differentiate at all between the two sample rates. In my case, I really welcome the possibility of recording with the Kemper in different sample rates than 44.1 because the Helix is at 48. So I don't have to go and mingle around and changing things in my DO and in the focus right in the uh, interface when I want to uh, use some patches on the Helix, some patches on the, on the Kemper, right? So it's much easier and much more convenient. In my case, this is the only reason why. It is essential that all your clocks are synchronized at the same frequency, the uh, interface one with the DO and the Kemper or the Helix, right? Whatever the device you're going to use, because if not, you are not going to be able 
to record at all. Probably you are not going to be able to hear any sound coming out of your Kemper or coming out of your Helix. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Please stay safe. See you very soon in my next one. And up to that moment, please play your guitars, have fun, and be good. Bye. Mm -hmm.